Hey Super Squid Squad, Splatoon's an awesome game. I've spent hours playing it, and I wouldn't be doing YouTube without it. So today we're going to be talking about why I love Splatoon. However, that said, it's more of a love-hate relationship. That's why I've made another video talking about why I absolutely hate this game. So you can check that out if you're feeling salty. It's in the upper right corner of the screen or in the description. Otherwise, let's get started. Number one is pretty obvious once you boot up the game, but Inkopolis Plaza oh, no. feels so alive, with the Inklings walking around and the great Zapfish just sitting there. Add in all the awesome easter eggs and it just blew me away the first time I started up Splatoon. The world is so colorful and detailed and it makes me just want to keep coming back. Even more than a year after the game's launch, I still seem to find little details that I never noticed before. Number two, Splatoon is super unique and creative. You can't turn to a squid in Call of Duty, wield a washing machine in Fortnite, or ride an exploding hamster ball in Overwatch. Well, I mean, there might be a hamster ball, but it doesn't explode. Number three is the phenomenal single player campaign. It's loads better than any other shooter out there. It might not be very long, but it's got replay value, fun bosses and enemies, and uses the game mechanics really well. The story actually ties back to Splatoon 1, and Mari's text is really funny sometimes. Nani? Number 4 is the awesome character customization. Not only are there 6 hairstyles for the Inklings, but you can choose your pants! And one of those options is the fabled double pants. You know, there's probably a reason I don't see anyone wearing these. They look weird. But beyond the pants, you can choose from a huge array of hats, clothing, and shoes. There's more than 380 pieces of gear, which means that there's more than 1 million gear combinations. But, I mean honestly, most of them are probably really ugly. Number 5 is the music. I could listen to this all day. Splatoon's music library is instantly recognizable, and it's always got a great beat. After playing upwards of 1,000 battles, the music still hasn't gotten old. Each of the game's four bands has a unique style that, together, keeps the soundtrack fresh. The music in the single player mode and Splatfest are both great unto themselves, and the Octo expansion only makes the selection bigger. Though, honestly, it could use more bass. That was a bad pun, and I apologize. Number 6 is the motion controls. There are some people out there who don't like them, but on the whole, motion controls are pretty great. There haven't been any other major third person shooters that have implemented motion controls, and in Splatoon, they definitely add another degree of precision. They take some getting used to, but once you have them, you're never going back. Other Nintendo Switch games like Zelda Breath of the Wild and Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, along with Fortnite, have added motion controls, but they're still not something you'd see on the PS4 or Xbox One. Number 7 is the incredible support this game has gotten after launch. With 4 new weapons and a map every month, and tons of balancing patches alongside that, Splatoon is constantly evolving, which makes it really fun to play. A lot of the new weapons have really cool concepts and fresh takes on already established weapon styles instead of just having slightly different stats. And we haven't even talked about Splatfest. Along with the constantly growing map and weapon selection, Splatfests each month bring the community together to fight for 24 hours about orange juice. Yeah. It's great. Number 8 is the new Octo Expansion DLC. It's really long and content packed for $20 and is definitely worth your time. The Octolings are really cute and while I wish they'd had more hairstyles, they're a great goal to work towards. Plus, you can learn more about Pearl and Marina and fight some of the hardest bosses I've ever gone against in a Nintendo game. This DLC is what, in my opinion, took the game beyond being just Splatoon 1.5 and made it a worthy successor to the laggy internet of the Wii U version. Number 9 is the new Salmon Run mode. Well, it's not new anymore, but it's still really fun. The Horde mode equivalent is great to play with friends, and the rewards are pretty awesome. Once you hit professional rank, the mode is challenging even to a Splatoon veteran. I spent hours playing this mode back when I first got a Switch, and I still enjoy playing it today. Number 10 is the Splatoon community. The memes, skill, and fun all centered around this game truly amaze me, and I would never be where I am on YouTube without the support of everyone here. Thank you guys for 200 subscribers and... wait a second, we don't have 200 anymore. Huh. That happened fast. Well, anyway, thank you guys for 750 subscribers, and I'm hyped for 750 more! Okay, that's my 10 reasons why I love Splatoon, but the game's not perfect. If you want to check out my video where I go over 10 reasons why I hate Splatoon, that's linked on your screen or in the description. Otherwise, that's about it. Bye, and until next time, I am Super Squid Jump, blasting off again. Bye!